G'day guys, it's Mick here from Gold Coast Adventure Flights and I'm here with the crew from Creative Disorder. Gold Coast Adventure Flights is an aerobatic company that um, gives you the thrill of doing aerobatics upside down, round and around, loop the loop in a warbird type aircraft, military, ex-military aircraft, over the city of the Gold Coast. No better backdrop than this city. It's just awesome. There's no, I can't put it any other way. It's hard to put into words how much excitement that comes with it. I've got you know several thousand hours of flying. Um, I then went and did an aerobatic endorsement and then basically got trained in this aircraft on how to fly it inverted, upside down, round and around. And um, it's hard to put into words. It's just thrilling, it's exciting, it's adrenaline pumping, both for me and the customer. You know, the, the novelty doesn't wear off, you know. Well, the aircraft's a Yak-52. It's a um, Russian military trainer, okay? So these were built in the 70s, right through, this one was actually built in 2000. So it's got the look and feel of yesteryear, but the safety of being a relatively young aircraft. It's only got 500 hours total time on it, which is very low in terms of aviation hours, which from my point of view is a um, safety factor. You know, it, it's, it looks old, it, it, but it, it's, it's young, you know? So yeah, it's, it's, it's a young aircraft with the feel and look of yesteryear, you know? Single engine, uh, 360 horsepower, uh, nine cylinder radial engine. Uh, they're a supercharged and they're a carbureted engine, which is quite unique in itself that they can fly inverted and, and they're a carbureted engine. All right, so these were built for, um, for the Russian Air Force. Basically, they would learn, the instructor would sit in the back, the student sits up the front, and uh, they would go out and learn how to fly an aircraft at the end of the day. And, um, at the end of the day, once they'd finished learning, they'd basically get out of this and jump into a MiG. That was the concept behind it in the Russian, Russian military. What can they do? They're rated for plus seven Gs and minus five Gs. So seven times your body weight is what you can hit on this. That's what it's rated for, okay? When we do aerobatics, we sort of top out around about five. So you're hitting five times your body weight up there and up to about one and a half to two negative. Negative is when you feel like you're floating in the plane. Um, positive G is when you're feeling really heavy and you're getting pushed into the seat. So your head weighs five times as much when you're doing aerobatics. It's kind of mad. So it's like a roller coaster on steroids. It's the best way it's been explained to me, except we get to pick the track. Basically, I start off slow and gentle is the best way to put it. You've never done it before. And good thing about these, with aerobatics, you only got one other person in the plane, okay? Just me and the customer. It's a very personalized flight, okay? You've never experienced it before. I don't know how you're going to react. You don't know how you're going to react. So we get up there and we start off slow and gentle. Usually by the time I do the first move, which is a nice slow roll, the nerves go away and you go, oh my God, planes can fly upside down. This is unreal. And the backdrop of the Gold Coast sort of takes your mind off it a little bit as well. And then we just start to step it up slowly, depending on how you're traveling and how you're feeling. So after every move, it's like, mate, how you feeling? You good? Yeah, Mick, do another one, do another one. That's typically what I get. And we just keep stepping it up, basically. In, in, um, the intensity goes up, depending on how you're feeling. If you get to a point where you kind of had enough, then we might just maintain that sort of level or repeat stuff that you've already done. Or if you get to the point where you kind of had enough altogether, we might go cruising over the Gold Coast and look at some of the sites as well. So it's a bit of a mix. It's very a personalized flight. Some people might do 10 or 12 aerobatic moves. Some people might do 25 aerobatic moves. The backdrop's incredible. You've got the hinterland, you've got the ocean, got whales at the moment. Um, I couldn't imagine a better place to fly. Uh, I really couldn't. It's just, it's hard to put into words. It's just a spectacular. You've got the islands of Moreton Bay. It's, you can see forever. Um, yeah, it's a really, it's, it's, it's inspiring. It's inspirational. It's um, visually spectacular. And you get to look at it upside down. <laughs> So, which is pretty cool too, you know. Um, yeah, it's a, the backdrop's incredible. The Gold Coast is an incredible part of the world, you know. There's no doubt about it. Yeah, I get where you're coming from there. I've done a lot of skydiving. Um, I'm an ex-skydiver and uh, I was looking for the next challenge. That's kind of what led me into flying. Um, and then I remember being at the uh, 
V8 supercars here on the Gold Coast. And that's where I saw the roulettes coming and doing aerobatics. I was the same thing. I didn't realise that the, the, as a public that I could go flying and experience that sort of stuff. So one thing led to another and we did some inquiries and then found it, I went and got an aerobatic rating and then found out that there are rules to allow you to take the public flying and doing this sort of stuff. So it, it is a little bit of an unknown. Things like this help get it out there. You know, um, it's, it's like skydiving first started, you know, not everybody did tandems, it was a very low key thing. Now everybody knows someone who's done a skydive. So aerobatics is in that initial stage, if you will. There's more and more um, places out there that are doing it. Um, it costs about the same, but you end up with, in my opinion, um, better, a better product at the end of the day. It's one-on-one, -on -one. it's really, it can never be anything more. It's a very personalized thing. It's one-on-one, -on -one. it's, the intensity is entirely up to the customer. You know, so um, and you're up there for instead of just falling through the sky for 40 seconds or 50 seconds, you're up there for 20, you know, 20, 30 minutes. So you have got so much more time to take it all in. Um, and the, as I keep coming back to, it, it's a very personal thing. You know, it's you and I or me and the customer talking about what's coming next. We're in communication on a headset, talking to one another. Um, it's me explaining everything that's going to happen before we do it so you always know whether we're going to go right whether we're going to left whether we're going to go backwards whether we're going to go forwards so from that that side of view it, it's it's just it takes time to get this stuff out there these sort of things help you know but it's um word of mouth is by far the best you know i'm yet to have anyone come back and complain you know it's just um yeah it's just something new that people are slowly realizing that they can do what the Red Bull guys do and what the Russian uh, and what the roulette guys do and that kind of stuff, you know. So yeah, it's getting out there. Look, I just get a rush. <laughs> it's the adrenaline rush. It's the, it's no other way to put it. I'm a bit, a little bit of an adrenaline junkie being an ex-skydiver. Um, I still fly parachute planes. By far, I'm not just saying this because you guys are here, this is my favorite machine to fly. Is It's just under, understanding aerodynamics and what you can do with an aircraft and, the limitations of it, it's just, that alone gets my blood pumping, you know. Spinning the plane and flipping the plane over the city is just, it's, it's so hard to put into words. It's just an adrenaline rush. As I said, it's like a roller coaster on steroids and we get to pick the track. You know? There's no better way to explain it. A lot of people, it's the most common question I get asked. Will I get sick or I think I'm going to be sick? That is the most common thing. And when you bring a family through and someone's going for a ride, the first question they ask when they walk back is the family says, did you get sick? Okay. I've had no one throw up in the plane. I'm not going to lie to you, some people get a bit nauseous, you know. It's usually a bit about the anxiety that they've sort of built up in their own mind. Um, some people feel nauseous just walking out to the plane because it's what they've built up in their head. But usually when you take it simple, you get out there, you start off slow, and um, that goes away for most people. Um, it's not motion sickness that makes them sick, generally it's G-force. So if you're punching through a lot of G all the time, it might make you a bit nauseous. But you can change the ride, you can not, you, there's moves you can do that don't have any G-force in them. So therefore you won't get that stress load on your body. So it's about, again, it's a personal flight, you know. If, I, if you tell me you're starting to feel a bit funny in the tummy, then I'll back it off a bit or I'll pick something that has no G-force on it. And usually it subsides or goes away. You know? So that's how we deal with that. But it doesn't make you sick the way you got more chance of getting sick you know when people go on a boat or something like that they get nauseous from that this is very different you know it's more it, it, it's a tailored flight you know so you really are gearing for the customer if they don't feel good or they want to change it you just back off slow down something like that